Hi, I'm Stanley Stewart, and today we're going to learn about painful memories. If you are like me, you probably spent a lot of time staying up at night, thinking about your memories, and feeling a lot of pain and crying. Maybe you're thinking about some horrible thing that happened to you during your childhood, or maybe it's just that your friends didn't remember your birthday. Whatever it is, it causes us a lot of pain, and today we're going to learn how to deal with them. So, I'm the type of person who really likes to figure out why things work, and I really like to dig deep into it. And I can't go into neurology if at all right now, but essentially your memories and your emotions are very much interconnected. So some people connect things with other things, like the smell of cookies might remind them of home. Or maybe, you know, whenever they see a dog, they're reminded of their dog from childhood. Well, everybody connects emotions and memories and what we're going to do is we're going to go dive into that memory and disconnect the emotion from it. So here's what I want you to do. Close your eyes for me and remember the most painful, traumatic memory that you have. Now, change it to black and white. Or if it's already in black and white, change it to color. And change your perspective. So if you see it through your eyes, see it from the side or perhaps see it from a bird's eye view. And if people are moving, make them still, or speed them up really fast, or slow them down. And if they're still, make everyone moving. Also, make it very, very, very small and in the distance, and far away from you. Similarly, change the sounds. So, change the way people talk. Like maybe you make everyone speak in a Mickey Mouse voice. Or maybe one person speaks in a Mickey Mouse voice, and another a Minnie Mouse voice. And if you hear a gunshot, hear a whistle instead change frequency, tone, pitch, all these things. Also change the way you feel. So if you feel something hard, feel something soft instead. If you feel something rough, feel something smooth. If you taste something bitter, taste something sweet instead. You'll notice that with each sensory perception you change, the emotion dulls and dulls and dulls until you can't feel it anymore. Now, can you do this whenever you have a painful memory? Good. And if you like this technique and want to know where to get more, go to stopsuicidalsuffering.com forward slash blog or just click the link below the video.